Rincon has unveiled its Gen 2 ring a couple of months ago. The company has already raised more than $4 million via the crowdfunded route, making it the most crowdfunded smart ring ever. Not to be left behind, Aura has just launched Ring 4. Both devices come with some iterative upgrades over their respective predecessors. The competition in the smart ring space is heating up. Recently, two big smartwatch brands have entered this arena, Samsung and Zap Health. So Rincon and Aura need to keep upping their game. So what exactly are the differences between Rincon Gen 2 and Aura Ring 4? And which device is right for you? Let's find out. Starting off with design, and there isn't too much difference between these two devices. Uh, Rincon Gen 2 is a sleek and lightweight option, weighing between 2 and 3 grams with a thickness of 2 millimeters. Uh, this makes it one of the lightest uh, smart rings out there, making it very comfortable for everyday wear. Aura Ring 4, on the other hand, is uh, a tad bit heavier, uh, but it has a more polished look and a wider range of finishes. Uh, both rings are water resistant, uh, up to 100 meters, suitable for swimming and everyday uh, activities. As far as sensors, uh, the Duo offers core health metrics, uh, heart rate, HRV, blood oxygen levels, and sleep monitoring. Uh, so both these devices primarily focus on recovery type stats. They do uh, offer uh, exercise tracking as well, but uh, heart rate uh, tracking during high intensity activities is not that great. Now, Rincon Gen 2 introduces sleep apnea detection, which Aura already has, and uses an upgraded PPG sensor for more accurate heart rate monitoring. Aura Ring 4 uh, has also uh, improved on existing features of its predecessor, uh, so it gets a 120% boost in the blood oxygen signal quality and better accuracy for nighttime breathing patterns. So far, as you can see, there isn't uh, that much uh, difference between these two devices. However, when it comes to battery life, there is a significant difference. Rincon Gen 2 offers up to 12 days per charge, complemented by a portable charging case for extended use. Aura Ring 4, on the other hand, uh, while still decent with up to 8 days of battery life, doesn't quite match the endurance of Rincon. As far as data, you get uh, similar uh, metrics that are tracked, uh, so there isn't much difference there. However, there is a difference uh, when it comes to data presentation and the app experience. Rincon is all about transparency. Its app offers detailed insights, raw data access, and a clear breakdown of your readings. This can be a major plus if you like to dig into the numbers yourself. The Aura app, on the other hand, is designed for ease of use. It presents data in a more polished, simplified way, with a focus on user-friendly daily readiness scores and personalized insights. If you want a quick, digestible snapshot of your health, Aura's approach might be more appealing. Aura's Android users also gain access to something called Aura Labs, which is an experimental platform featuring capabilities like meal tracking. The company has also introduced Aura Advisor, an AI-powered tool for personalized health insights. As mentioned, neither device is designed for intense athletic performance monitoring, so struggle when it comes to the accuracy of heart rate, during, heart rate tracking during intense exercise. Having said that, they are good in terms of basic activity metrics like uh, step count and calorie burn. As far as price, the Aura Ring 4 and Ring Con Gen 2 employ distinct uh, pricing strategies. The first positions itself as a premium health and wellness device, commanding a higher price tag. The ring typically retails uh, between, uh, at between $350 and $500, depending on the chosen style and finish. Importantly, Aura Ring 4 necessitates a recurring monthly subscription fee of around $6 to unlock the full range of features and data insights within the companion app. In contrast, Rincon Gen 2 offers a more budget-conscious option with pricing on, uh, starting at uh, around $300. A key differentiator is Rincon Gen 2's subscri subscription-free model, providing users with unrestricted access to all features without ongoing costs. Okay, so what's the bottom line? If you're trying to choose between these two th smart rings, here's the deal. Both are solid health trackers, but the Rincon Gen 2 has a couple of neat advantages. As noted in my hands-on review, uh, I will post the link below this video, it's sleeker and lighter on your finger, and its battery life is impressive. You can go almost two weeks between charges instead of just one. Plus, that portable charging case is very useful for travelers, letting you go months without hunting for a power outlet. When it comes to what they can actually do, it's pretty much a tie. Both rings are great at tracking your sleep and overall health, though neither will blow you away with exercise tracking. Rincon's added sleep apnea detection is cool, and data geeks might prefer its app for the detailed numbers uh, it provides. 
Aura takes a different approach, focusing more on telling you what to do with all that data it collects. And don't forget to, to take the price tag into consideration. Rincon Gen 2 is not only cheaper upfront, but it also doesn't ask you to pay a monthly fee to use all its features. Aura, on the other hand, costs more to begin with and then hits you with a subscription fee. If you're watching your wallet, Rincon gives you more bang for your buck while still keeping up and sometimes outpacing Aura's features.